Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We are glad that you could be here today even as we look into the Word. You know, the Word of God is so powerful, it's alive, it's living. And uh, the best thing about God's Word is that God's Word gives us an antidote. You know, it's like a medicine that counteracts the poison that could create some kind of toxicity in our body or bring damage um, to our body. So God's Word, in fact, Proverbs 4 and verse 22 says that God's Word is life to all who find them and health to all their flesh. So we, in this series, we're going to be looking at the antidote that God's Word provides for certain things that could be damaging to us, to our lives, spiritual lives as believers. So the first thing that we're going to see is anxiety. Now God's Word or God's antidote for anxiety. Now, anxiety in the life of a believer, it, it, it's, it's preoccupation, right? It, it is like worry, it is being preoccupied with our thoughts, not being able to focus on the present, not being able to focus on what needs to be done. Now, anxiety creates that in a believer's life. So it's very frustrating. You want to do something, but you're not able to focus because there is anxiety. We are being preoccupied. Anxiety also takes a joy out of a believer's life. You know, God has called us to have uh, the joy of the Lord, to experience the joy of the Lord every day. But anxiety takes that out or drains that. As believers, we, are, we have the peace of God and we are called to enjoy the peace of God. But anxiety takes that out. Right? So this is what we read in uh, Philippians chapter 4 and verses 6 to 8. Philippians 4 and verse 6 says, Be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. In other words, saying, whatever reason might arise, whatever cause there might be, which, which might be, which there might be, to cause you to have anxiety, don't be anxious. So we might say, hey, that's very easy for you to say, but very difficult for me to carry it out. Let's read out and see what does the rest of the passage say. It says, But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. So be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Now that's the antidote. So we go before God, and whatever reasons or whatever causes there might be arising for us to be anxious by prayer and supplication. In fact, the word that is used there for prayer is the set place for prayer, like a, like a regular place for prayer. So it's a regular occurrence. We take it to God in prayer and supplication, which means requests, all these requests and um, uh, prayer, we take it to God with thanksgiving. So which means that we go there before God with gratitude or with grateful language. Right? So with grateful language, thanking God for the promises that are there, thanking God, being grateful to God because He is there and He will intervene, being grateful to God for the promises of God. So we go before God with prayer and supplication and thanksgiving and we make our requests be made known and we make our request known to God. Verse 7 says, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So if we would do that on a regular basis, if we would do this on a regular basis, prayer and supplications, with thanksgiving, we make our request known to God. It says that the peace of God will guard our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So the word used there is a military guard, an armed guard. So this peace of God will be like a peace of God will be like a guard, military security uh, at the entry point of anxiety. It will guard our hearts, it will guard our minds through Christ Jesus. So let's pray today and ask and ask God to give us this antidote. Even as the God, Word of God exhorts us and gives us this antidote, let's put to practice, apply it and experience the peace of God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the 
for the key that is here in your word that we can get to pray we can bring our supplication request before you with thanksgiving grateful language and gratitude in our hearts god and we thank you that your peace will be like a security god your peace will guard our hearts and minds from all kinds of anxious thoughts from all kinds of anxiety and your peace will rule and reign in our hearts god we just want to thank you and we pray that even as we apply it today may we experience the power and the truth of what we have seen today we thank you in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org